Okay, my flying friends, I want to talk to you a little bit about props. Basically, prop balancing. Making them be able to be totally balanced or they're smooth running and you don't have any jello. I'll show you a little clip right now of what jello kind of looks like when you're flying and it could be a bad prop. Well, that gives you the idea of what it is. It's basically is causing vibration. It would go through and shake your camera within your um, drone itself. Now, when you got a, a drone like this that doesn't have a GPS, this H501 Hubson, the, the, whatever movement you have is going to show up. So it's a little more receptible to that type of vibration. But it doesn't have to be if you keep your props balanced. Maybe more so on that than other drones that have a, a gimbal on it that will take up that effect. Now, you don't need a lot of things. There's a number of things on the market that will help you to balance your props. And my basic today is to give you an introduction so you can kind of look around on the web, get a lot more information than what I'm going to show you today, but I'm going to give you a good introduction of how cheaply you can do it and maybe where you get to spend a little money. And that's totally up to you and how effective you can be with this. First off, probably the most popular one on the market is this Dubro which is uh, pretty much every one that you'll see, you look for it, will have this. It, it, it's a great little unit to balance your props, whether you're balancing them for an airplane that you have, an RC airplane, or whether you're doing it for props like we are here. It's really popular because it works really well. But it's a little expensive. It could be anywhere from $30 to $40 now I see on the web, which is okay if you're doing an awful lot of props and you justify that money. But let me show you a little bit of how it works. If you're going to do a, like the Hubson, then one of the things you need to get besides this, if you're going to use this, is you need to get the shaft that has uh, five millimeters, and it has a reverse thread on one side and a standard A. So you have like an A and a B for your props. So you can put them on here. And like this one here is a A. So we're going to put that. It's got a little mark on there. And that you can you can put weight on there and screw it on just like you do your on your on your drone. Now this little piece here is about 14 bucks from the same place as Debro here and you can check it out. Is that a little expensive? Yeah I think it's a little high for what it is but it needs to be balanced correctly and effectively used but um, I don't know other place to get it. So anyway it works. Now you what you do is you set this up and this unit here I don't know if you can see really good, but this unit here has little fins in there that are actually move extremely easy. So when you put your unit in here, the shaft in there, and you balance your blade, there is no friction. This thing moves as easy as that, and it will go for a long, long time. And I like it because you can balance really well. Now this blade here has been balanced already. One of the things you got to do is make sure it's level and make sure these two are at the same height. And there's a whole, actually right from the manufacturer, there's a whole procedure on how to set this up and actually how to use it. So I won't have to go into a lot of detail. You can click over there and check it out. But what I do is I put it on here like it is there. And then I will hold this up one way or another and leave it, see where it's at. This particular blade, almost when I set this up, almost all my blades are balanced already that I did. Now, when you want to balance them, now if you can't, may or may not be able to see, but I got tape on this. I use Scotch tape. Some people use, um, they use a fingernail polish and put a little bit to get the weight. They also use black tape. Uh, I like to use, I've used a little black tape, but I also just use the plain old um, Scotch tape, you know, that, that works on it. And what you want to do with that is you want to use it for balance. See, for example, this is already balanced pretty good. I got tape on there from past. But if I wanted to, here, we're going to make this a little bit off. Here's a little piece of scotch tape. And I'm going to put that here on the end. And then watch where this goes. It goes right down because that little piece of scotch tape caused the rate to go down. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think so. And so that little piece, so it doesn't take much rate to make it happen. Now, that would be an off-balance prop. But if I take this off, because I've already balanced this, it won't go down. Well, it's not supposed to go down. There we go. 
So it stays pretty darn solid. Slight movement. Well, if you get that close, I think you're home free. I've never had a shake because it was that close. Now this works really well, and it's a quick, quick and easy way to check your, your uh, props and to get them to work well by just putting a little piece of tape. Now what you do if you are out of balance and you put this tape, really, you put it first off on the back side. Don't put it on the side where the wind, where the actually goes through and cuts the wind, have it on the back side so there's no pressure to peel it off. And it hasn't, this one's been on there a couple of years actually. And that, uh, so you, but you test it this way. You put, your, you put the tape to make it balance, you put it in the middle and then wait a minute, see if that don't work. Nah, that's no good. Then you put it a little bit out, a little bit further, put it in where you move it. So it's a trial and error. That's why I don't want to go through a lot of time with that because it's trial and error. If you know that you got to put it one spot or the other, then you'll be able to keep finagling and go in. Nice little unit, a nice little unit, and it, and it works real well for the purpose. Now, one other thing I want to show you is that I came up before I bought this. Um, oh, I should show you here. If you're using like a Phantom, or whatever, then this also would do the same thing, but you might do it a little bit differently. This goes on where you can spring load it, it pushes in so you center your prop on there, uh, on the shaft, this is a different shaft than this one was, and you can drop it down in there once you get it in the position in the shaft, and then now, same way, it works the same way. Now this one might be one of the ones I bounced. Yeah, this one has you can't hardly see it, but there is a little piece of tape right there that has balanced this from using this right here. So you can put it on there and it stays. The big thing is if you can keep it to stay like that, you know it's really in good balance. That's nice. That's pretty good. So, but you would have to put that tape all over, up and down until you got it balanced, like a teeter-totter in a way. And that works pretty well. The other, one other thing, once I got this, I ordered this first, this shaft, so I could um, make this work. I found that you can save some money, and if you don't want to spend that money in here, it depends really how much you got used for balancing your props on a regular basis. If you get this, <laughs> this shaft, you put your prop on there, and you get a, uh, this is a coffee cup, okay, but it could be other cups. The big thing is it's big enough that you can leave your prop. You set it on here, just like you did there, and if it's glass, look how fragile that is. It moves just so easy. The only thing it does is it does walk off your cup. But you can do the same thing as far as balance. If this thing moves, you know you got to put the prop on, put the, uh, one way or the other, put it, the tape on one side or the other. And that's a cheap economical way to make it work. So you get it just right. But you have to have this level. So whatever you put your cup on, you make sure the top of it is level. This isn't here on this table at all. Um, but that, yeah, once this is level, then you got a base, it's kind of like that. And being glass, this moves really easy and doesn't hang up. Now there's one other one. Before I did any of this, I made this. I had this brainstorm, figured this would work. And it does, you know, to a big degree. Um, but what this is, is this is made, this is a huge nail put in a piece of wood, and this is uh, one of the real fine point uh, um, screwdrivers you get in those little kits, and that going right through the wood and up into making the shaft. Now there's a little red flag right here, and this little red flag is what we are going to measure as far as what balance there might be in the prop. And what you do, and I, I got a video that I did, and I will talk through that, but what you do, I think we can see this. What you do is, as we, as this blade goes around, it comes close to that little red flag. And that's where it tells us how balanced we are, if it goes up or down from that flag. But let's cut to that video now, and I'll show you how I try to use this. As you can see, I have the blade spinning here. And as it goes around, you can see how it compares to the mark. That's the big thing you're looking at here to see if it's high on the mark or low on the mark. One side appears to be right on and the other one's a little high. I stopped it there. You can see that that one is right on the mark. And the next one as I go around, it's a little higher than the mark. 
Now, what I need to do is put a little tape on there. So that's what I did on that one to lower it down. Now, this is like a teeter-totter. So it's not exactly like the other one that we're doing where that one side's higher. This, we got to kind of have a happy medium between the two. So as, we, as this one approaches, as you can see, as it goes around, it's really pretty close. But we're going to stop it right on the tape here and then take a look at that. Boy, that's close to the mark for sure. And now they'll go around. Boom, that's really on the other mark. So that's in good shape. We're looking really at that pretty good of a, of a no wobble there. Well, you get the idea. It's another way to try to check out how your uh, props are balanced. And this works pretty darn well. I kind of like it at times because you can spin it and see it go. And you'll see a hop in, the, in your uh, on the propeller if it's really bad and it really shows up. And none of the ones I got are very bad or, or really bad at all. So that's kind of the basics I wanted to show you, give you an idea of maybe what you can do and figure it out. Probably that if you're going to invest in anything right away, this little shaft is helpful to do so, so you can actually work it with the cup or maybe another fine, or maybe come up with another idea altogether. But having a balanced prop definitely is the way to go. Put a little tape on there, oops, put a little tape on there and watch it fall down. <laughs> So that little tape, you can't imagine how light that is, you, and yet it makes this go down. So there's that kind of balance that you want. When you start up that, that thing, these turn at such high RPM, any little off balance will really show up and cause a problem and shake the drone um, for sure. Maybe even bend the shaft on some of the bigger ones if it's a real big problem. Well, that's the idea. That's an introduction. <laughs> that's an introduction to balancing your props. So hopefully this helped. And we look forward to talking to you in the next one when we go another video on drones.